So they did some athletic studies. They did VO2 max and time taken to reach ventilatory threshold. VO2 max is the amount of oxygen you can assimilate in your body to keep your muscles going at 100%. If you're an athlete, your muscles can outperform your oxygen intake and you reach something called ventilatory threshold. It's where you hit the runner's wall. You've got to stop completely or slow down drastically to let your oxygen catch up before you can continue competing. Well, they did these studies and on, after just two weeks on ASEA, Athletes, on average, boosted their VO2 max by 3% and their time taken ventilatory threshold by 12%. Well, what's 3% VO2 max? It's been said that the difference between first place and 50th place in the Tour de France is about 1 to 2% VO2 max. This boosts it by 3% in just two weeks, and it's legal. It's completely legal. Um, that 12% ventilatory threshold, what that means is these athletes could go 12% harder, 12% longer, in just two weeks. Gains like that among top athletes take months and sometimes years to accomplish. It happens in two weeks on ASEA. So they did some metabolomic studies on ASEA. What they found out is within 30 minutes of ingesting ASEA, your body starts to mobilize fat from your abdomen that goes out into your bloodstream as medium chain free fatty acids. These free fatty acids can be used as a fuel source. Now the exciting thing about that is when you're on ASEA, you begin to burn fat as a fuel source first. Fat burns and produces ATP about six to eight times more efficiently than muscle glycogen or stored glucose. So now all of a sudden when you're burning fat, you've got this abundant source of ATP to fuel your muscles. Well, the other thing that's exciting about it is when you burn fat, it also doesn't produce lactic acid. Anybody ever heard of lactic acid? That's what makes your muscles burn. That's what builds up in your muscles and makes you sore the next day. So now all of a sudden as athletes, you've got this abundant supply of ATP with no lactic acid production, so you recover quicker. Well, with this abundant supply of ATP, guess what the most energy demanding thing you do is? Any guesses? It's heal. What was your energy level like the last time you were really sick? Most people say, oh, I could barely get out of bed. The reason that is, is all of your ATP was being used to detect, repair, and replace damaged cells. You had none left over to fuel your muscles because repairing those cells took priority over your muscles. So imagine now when you're burning fat as a fuel source, producing six to eight times the amount of ATP, of your ability to fuel that healing process. Now take that a step further. What happens if you take this when you're not sick? Now all of a sudden, you've got this amazing source of ATP to fuel your muscles. A fuel source that doesn't produce lactic acid. And that's why athletes are seeing such incredible results in endurance and such incredible results in recovery time. So they did a study on mice. They took mice, put them on little mice treadmills and ran them to exhaustion and measured how far they could run. The next thing they did is they split them up into two groups. Half of them they put on a SIA and half of them they put on a placebo in a double blinded study. The placebo they used, we're going to talk about for just a minute. What they used was salt and water at the same concentration as a SIA. Um, if you look on the internet, the naysayers out there say, oh, all this is is salt water. And the reason they say that is that's the only ingredients in it. But it's not salt water. It's a reactive oxygen species stabilized in its bioactive form, and there's a big difference. So for the placebo, they use salt water. It's also important to bring out that there's not really a whole lot of salt in a SIA. If you wanted to get one day's recommended daily allowance for salt intake by drinking a SIA, you would need to drink two bottles, 64 ounces all at once, to get one day's recommended daily allowance. That amount should last you 16 days. So there's really not a lot of salt in a SIA. They put half of them on a SIA, they put half of them on a placebo for two weeks. Then they ran them again. And what they found out is mice on a SIA, on average, can run 29% further. 29% further than the control group and 29% further than they did just two weeks ago. The implications for that in the athletic world are just off the charts. They also noticed there was 33% increase in sparing of muscle glycogen. And what that means is they didn't build, they didn't burn muscle glycogen, they were burning fat as a fuel source. I'm telling you, who doesn't want to burn fat as a fuel source? And it's also a much more efficient way to fuel your body. So here's a quick video on athletes in ASEA. by a minute and a half. I had a negative split, which is something I have been trying to achieve for two years. I'm simply faster and a better athlete because of ASEA. 
When I was introduced to a sea, I was very impressed with the three components of endurance, recovery, and repair. Something you don't see in one product ever, especially at this level. I went down to a sports clinic and I got tested. I ran on a treadmill at an incline, got all my ventilatory thresholds and heart rates tested. Um, and then I went on the product for six weeks. Uh, returned to the same clinical test, uh, had it all done, I was able to run faster, at a steeper incline, at a lower heart rate. I feel stronger as rides progress, that uh, my legs don't feel as fatigued, I feel like I have more energy and my mental focus gets stronger as the ride progresses. It's not an energy drink, it's an endurance which is completely different because with energy there's a high and then there's a low. With an endurance product there's not ever a low, it's just effective during exercise. Okay, you might not feel an energy rush, but you go out on a, on a long hike, a long run, a long bike ride, a long swim, and you'll find the difference. You'll, see, you'll feel the difference. So this allows me to actually go out and train, feel good, recover, train more often. I use ASEA. I think it's a good product. It's helped me in a lot of ways with recovery and quality of workouts. Um, it's, it's a product that I can, you know, with good conscience, recommend to my athletes. I wouldn't want to be without it. I think my performance would drop. I think I would be risking injury. And so uh, I absolutely love it, and I want to stay on it forever. Any professional athlete will tell you, you know your body. You know even a, a certain drink or a particular meal. You, you really know, and you're in tune with your body. And I know now that ASEA is a part of my life for the rest of my life. So the guy in the blue shirt, his name is James Lawrence. He's a great guy. He's also known as the Iron Cowboy. He set the world's record in 2012 for number of Ironman competitions completed in one year. The world's record before him was 20, and everyone told him he would be crazy to try and break that world's record. Well, he broke that record. In 2012, he did 30 Ironman, averaging one about every 12 days. He endorses ASEA, and ASEA doesn't pay anybody to endorse their product. Rich Roll uh, was voted one of the 25 most fit men on the planet. He gets on a SEA and has done something nobody else has ever done before and since. He calls it the Epic Five Challenge. He's done it twice. Where they do five complete Ironmen on five different Hawaiian Islands in five consecutive days. So every day they do another Ironman five days in a row. Once again, he endorses a SEA and a SEA doesn't pay anyone to endorse her product. I have a good friend, Sean Burke, who's a physical therapist locally there in, the, in my area, and he's a fierce competitor. He started doing Ironman when he was 25 years old. And at 49, he had finished his 17th Ironman, and he decided that he was going to do one more at 50, then he was going to retire, and he was going to quit racing. He knew he was taking way too much ibuprofen to deal with the soreness from training, and he knew that wasn't good for him. And he just felt like he couldn't train like he wanted to train to be competitive at the level he was used to being competitive at. To make a long story short, he gets on a SEA about six weeks before his 18th Ironman at 50 years old. About three weeks into it, he quit taking ibuprofen. And then he started training like he did back in college at 50 years old, and he got really excited. He did his 18th Ironman at 50 years old and was able to take 58 minutes and 30 seconds off his time from 49 to 50 in the same Coeur d'Alene Ironman. He got excited. Um, he actually went on that year to have nine personal records. And what I mean by a personal record is he's been training and competing since he was 25. He set most of those records in his 20s and 30s. He gets on a SEA and broke nine of those records at 50 years old. He sent me an email with 14 points on it with things that he had noticed that were the most significant since getting on a SEA. This is a picture of Sean here, and this is him carrying his little pouch of a SEA. He said, my training is no longer being controlled by the fatigue and soreness of my body. I'm now able to train by the determination of my mind. This is a whole new level of training for me. I'm telling you, when athletes find out what Sean Burke and all these other athletes, we have tons of athletes on ASEA, know about ASEA, you won't be able to keep this from them. I tell my competitive athletes, patients, if you know about ASEA now, it's going to give you a serious, measurable advantage. Five years from now, if you don't know about it, you'll be at a disadvantage because everyone's going to be on this. That's just all there is to it.